This is the video version of a truck driver's guide to care and maintenance of diesel particulate filters. The California Air Resources Board has a diesel particulate filter maintenance handbook available online at the Truck Stop website. The theme of this guide, as well as this video, is don't let your filter get out of kilter. Keep in mind that a DPF, or a diesel particulate filter, is not a fit and forget device. You will need to protect your investment by understanding the needs of your new system. Furthermore, to ensure the emissions performance of the retrofit and to be compliant with the regulation, make sure that the DPF purchased is verified by ARB. DPFs are verified by ARB through rigorous testing. To protect your investment, keep in mind improper care of your engine and DPF can lead to expensive repairs and replacement parts, avoided warranty, engine malfunction or breakdown, and possibly non-compliance with air pollution laws. Also make sure to Maintain the engine its original configuration and do not exchange filter parts unless allowed by the DPF manufacturer. Vehicle maintenance is critical. For this, top-notch vehicle engine maintenance is required. Loss of lube oil control or overfueling can damage or destroy your DPF, leading to expensive repairs. A DPF catcher soot from the engine and can mask engine problems that used to be visible in the engine's exhaust. Be proactive. Reducing soot from your engine reduces filter plugging and cleaning. Some of the maintenance items that affect diesel particulate filter operation are fuel injectors, air filters, fuel filters, turbocharger, fuel, lube oil, and coolants. You will need to repair and replace fuel injectors at intervals required by the manufacturer of your engine. You will need to replace air filters as required. Dirty air filters reduce airflow into the engine leading to more soot generation. You will need to replace fuel filters as required and as needed. A blackening of the filter may indicate that oil from the crankcase is mixing with the fuel due to a leaky injector. Check the turbocharger for proper operation and excessive wear. Turbochargers that do not produce sufficient air or have leaking seals lead to more soot or the presence of lube oil in the exhaust. Periodically inspect the fuel for signs of lube oil contamination. A blackening of fuel may indicate mixing of crankcase oil with the fuel. Monitor consumption of the coolant and lube oil. Coolant leakage can poison the DPF catalyst. We'll talk a bit more about lube oil. All of these maintenance items are critical for proper operation and longevity of your diesel particulate filter. One of the maintenance items is to monitor lube oil consumption closely. Some of the components in lube oil can collect in the DPF and cause plugging or make the catalyst malfunction. Therefore, it is important to ensure that the engine is not using lube oil at a higher rate than recommended by the engine manufacturer. If the lube oil consumption exceeds specifications, the engine must be repaired because increased lube oil consumption leads to increased ash load and filter plugging. The ash cannot be removed by regeneration. The result is an increase in DPF cleaning frequency, which is costly and involves downtime. So, if the lube oil consumption exceeds specifications, the engine must be repaired. Track lube oil usage by keeping a log of how much oil is added to the engine between oil changes. Manufacturers recommend using low ash CJ4 lube oil. And never put clean or use lube oil, additives, or alternative diesel fuels that are not authorized by the DPF manufacturer in the fuel tank. In addition to lube oil consumption, maintaining the duty cycle is important. The duty cycle is a daily pattern of use of the engine and how that affects the engine exhaust temperature. The duty cycle could vary, for example, between highway driving long distances, 
city driving with short trips, light loads, and heavy loads. Before the DPF is installed, the engine is data logged to determine if the engine exhaust is hot enough to have the filter run properly. These are photos of DPF data loggers used to determine the duty cycle of an engine. The DPF is designed to work for the duty cycle at the time it was data logged. Therefore, changing the duty cycle could adversely affect the performance of the filter. So you should maintain the duty cycle that was used when the truck was data logged by the installer. And be aware, if the duty cycle of a truck is changed, it may affect how the filter works, leading to plugging. You should know how your DPF functions. DPFs work by physically trapping and removing particulate matter or soot from the engine's exhaust. The soot must eventually be removed to keep the filter from clogging. The process of burning the soot in the filter is called regeneration. Your truck is equipped with a passive or active regeneration system. Passive regeneration. In this system, the engine's exhaust temperature gets hot enough to trigger regeneration during the vehicle operation. Active regeneration. This system requires an outside source of heat, such as diesel fuel or electricity, to burn off accumulated soot. This process may or may not require action by the driver. Some DPFs, for example, automatically dose and ignite diesel fuel in the filter for regeneration. DPFs equipped with electrical plugs use heaters that are required to be plugged into an electrical outlet for regeneration, and this is typically done overnight. Make sure the actively regenerated DPFs are given the required regeneration time so the soot can be completely removed from the filter before the vehicle is driven again. Actively regenerated DPFs should not be parked near flammable materials when the regeneration takes place. The DPF gets very hot and could cause combustibles to catch fire. The cab of the truck has a monitoring system for the DPF that includes several indicator lights that show the status of the filter. You should know the operator must understand and observe the DPF indicator lights on a regular basis and respond accordingly. The indicator lights for the monitoring system vary somewhat between DPF manufacturers. You should understand the meaning of all indicator lights by talking to the installer or maintenance personnel. Remember these tips. Do not disconnect, tape over, or block the view of the indicator lights. Do not ignore the lights. Continuing to operate the vehicle that requires attention may severely derate the engine, damage the DPF and or engine, and void the DPF warranty. For actively regenerated DPFs, perform the regeneration or return to the garage for regeneration as soon as possible when the indicator lights show to do so. If the installer provides a quick reference card for the indicator lights, keep a copy nearby in the truck. You should handle the filter with care. The DPF appears rugged, but is commonly made with ceramic materials. Make sure the DPF is handled properly during installation. Never bang or tap on the filter because this could crack the filter element. Replacing the DPF filter element is costly. Cracking the filter element may void the warranty and requires replacement. When working on your vehicle, do not weld any other components on the retrofit system, cut or disconnect any control lines. Cleaning. The DPF is a maintenance item. It must be removed and cleaned periodically to remove accumulated non-combustible ash from the filter. Ash removal is different and separate from regeneration. In general, DPF cleaning requires heating of the filter using compressed air combined with a vacuum system to blow the ash and capturing it in a sealed container. This is an example of a kind of cleaning system. These are clean and dirty filter cores. The dirty filter needs ash removal. Remember to only use filter cleaning procedures approved by the manufacturer. Using an improper cleaning method may ruin the DPF and or expose personnel to hazardous waste. Also do not use a shop compressor in an open area to clean the filter. Do not steam clean it. Do not wrap or beat on the filter element to remove ash. 
Unless it has been tested and verified as safe, DPF ash must be handled and disposed of as a California hazardous waste. Make sure filter cleaning contractors use the proper procedure and handle ash properly and that filter elements are installed correctly after they are cleaned. Never operate the engine without the filter elements or reverse them. You should also maintain your filter and engine service records. The DPF is a mechanical device and occasional problems may arise due to factors related to manufacturing, installation, or engine maintenance practices. If you have a problem with your DPF for trucks and buses, including drayage and port trucks, contact your installer. Most problems are resolved in this manner. If the installer cannot resolve your complaint, contact the manufacturer. If the installer or manufacturer can't resolve your complaint, contact ARB's diesel hotline at 1-866-6-DIESEL. For transportation refrigeration units, we have another number listed for DPFs on TRUs. You can also contact your installer and or manufacturer. For additional information on any diesel topic, you can always go on to the truck stop website at the address provided. Your compliance with California Air Resources Board's regulations will go a long way toward improving air quality. Thank you.